In my six and a half years of playing Brawl Stars, I've picked up a bunch of really cool and interesting facts that I wish someone had told me earlier. So today, I'm going to tell all those facts to you guys. Going in with number one, the higher trophies on your individual brawler, the harder the games are going to be. When you just open the game, and if you don't have a win streak, what I like to do is I like to hop on my 200 trophy brawlers, 300 trophy brawlers, which are my lowest brawlers, and start to develop a little bit of a win streak. I play these low trophy brawlers because the low trophy brawlers equals easy easier opponents and easier opponents usually equals more wins once you get that win streak going you start to gain a lot for a win and you don't really lose that much for a loss so once i have you know three or four wins in a row i'll switch over to my high trophy brawler and then i'll start playing with that if i lose it's not really a big deal i'm just gonna hop back on my low trophy brawler and push it back again two three four wins get that win streak and then again go on my high trophy brawler and keep it going this is going to save you a lot of time and also when you win it's going to get you a lot of trophies when you really shouldn't be getting that on your high trophy brawlers so definitely do this before you're pushing your highs it is a really kind of cheating and fast way to abuse the win streak system fact number two the meta changes every single big update always be up to date with the most recent tier list video these videos can come from myself People like Spen, Kairos, there are a bunch of really good tier lists out there. Not everyone's is the same, and you're not going to agree with everyone's opinion, but for the most part, they are right 99% of the time. Always make sure you're watching the most recent tier list videos, though. If you're watching something that is three, four, five months old, it's out of date, and the meta has completely shifted. Watch videos that are a week old, a few days, even up to a month is okay, but anything over that, the meta is going to change pretty soon or it's already changed and you're going to waste your time leveling up those brawlers. Meta brawlers are 100 times easier to push than non-meta brawlers. Pushing a Leon right now is 100 times easier than pushing a Frank. So make sure you guys know what the meta is because if you're playing those brawlers, it's going to be a lot easier to win those games. Fact number three, if you're playing with randoms, which a lot of you guys do, Please make sure you are playing a carry brawler. Far too many times do I load into a brawl ball game playing a tank, a goal scorer, something like that. And then my teammate is playing Brock. Like, why are you queuing up with Brock in Brawl Ball when you know you're going to have another Mortis as your random? Playing these bad Brawlers, you're going to have to hit, like, every single shot and just be way better than the other team. And even if you are way better than the other team, if you're a Brock and your random is a Mortis and you're going up against, like, Macy and, you know, two other hypercharges, like, how are you ever going to win the game? If you really do want to push that Brock, wait. Played on Heist or Knockout, Wipeout, Bounty, a mode that Brock is actually good. If you really want to play Brawl Ball, play a good Brawl Ball Brawler. Hop on Macy, hop on Sandy, hop on, you know, something that is just really, really good in Brawl Ball in that meta. And that's not too hard to figure out. Very important to play the right Brawlers on the right modes. Even pros such as myself, if I queue up into Gem Grab or Brawl Ball with a Brawler that's just not that good like Bonnie... I'm not going to win. I'm sorry. I just can't carry. I need to play the brawlers that are good on specific modes, on specific maps, and that makes things a lot easier. If you don't know what brawlers are good where, watch videos on it. I'm sure tons of YouTubers have made tons of videos on what brawlers are good where, and if you need those tips, if you want to know where to play Spike, or if you want to know where to play Piper, just search it on YouTube and someone has you and will help you out. Tip number four, and I thought of this one while writing tip number three, Make sure you are pushing more than one brawler at once. It is very difficult to pick one brawler and be like, okay, you know what? I want to push this brawler to 1,000 trophies. Let's say you had a really good day on Heist with Dynamite, and you're like, you know what? I want to hit this goal with my Dyna. Well, the maps out might not be that good for Dyna. You push Dyna really well on that Heist map because it's good there. And when you're playing brawlers that are good on maps, like I just said, it's really easy to win. So don't get too focused on this one brawler. When you're done pushing that brawler, switch to a different one that's good on the other map. You need to stay consistent with playing brawlers that are good on specific maps or you're not going to gain trophies as fast as you can be. I know you may want to really finish that goal you set out for yourself, but just wait an extra day or two. Wait for another heist map to come or another good map for that dynamite, for example, and then just push it again then. Don't get too hard stuck on one brawler because you're not going to push as fast as you can. And believe me, so far, with just these four tips, you can already push a ton faster, and we still have six more. Fact number five, and some of you may not like this. If you only play Showdown, start playing 3v3. Look, I'm not saying Showdown is an easy mode. Believe me, there is a video coming up where I'm going to show you guys just how hard Showdown is, even for someone like me. 
But just because you can push in Showdown, that doesn't mean you can push in other modes as well. Showdown is a very unique mode, and it's not at all like the other modes in Brawl Stars. It's more like Fortnite or like a Battle Royale than it is another 3v3 mode. And because of that, the skills that you get from Showdown, they don't really translate into the other modes in the game. There's nothing wrong with this, and there's nothing wrong with being a Showdown player. But if you want to push as efficiently as possible, you want to be able to play all the modes. I would much rather be able to play different 3v3 modes because some modes like Bounty, it's so easy to push Piper. Or some modes like Brawl Ball, it's so easy to push Primo. But then you compare that to Showdown and it's not really like that. You just have to be really good at Showdown to push all the different Brawlers. So if you do play Showdown, have a good mix between Showdown and 3v3. Again, I'm not saying Showdown is easy because it's not. It's actually really hard. But if you want to push the most trophies possible and you want to do it as fast as possible, start playing 3v3s as well. Fact number six. And now this one might seem really obvious. So, you know, don't shoot the messenger here. But hypercharged brawlers, guys, are really broken. If this is what a normal brawler looks like, then this is what a hypercharged brawler looks like. This is my final form. This is as powerful as I am in this mask. And it's no different with the brawlers. If your brawler has a hypercharge, it is dummy broken i have 16 rank 35s this season and 11 of them are hypercharged brawlers now that might seem kind of obvious but when there are 75 brawlers in the game and i don't know how many brawlers have hypercharged maybe 18 and 11 of my rank 35s are hypercharged brawlers that should say something they're a lot easier to push so if you have hypercharged brawlers push them tip number seven seven every player is unique I'm not good at the same brawlers that my pro teammates are good at. And that other pro teammate isn't good at the same brawler that, you know, a Tribe Gaming pro player is good at. Everyone is good at different brawlers and it's the same thing for you guys. You guys need to figure out what brawlers you are good at. Is it snipers? Is it tanks? Is it spawnables? Is it, you know, sharpshooters? Is it throwers? It, there are so many different brawlers in the game, different brawler pools and not everyone can play all of them. Not everyone can even play one. So figure out what you can play and then move on from there and figure out how to be good at what you play. Go on a tier list video. If you're good at snipers, see what snipers are meta. Right now, I would say Piper and Nani are meta. So if I were you guys, and if I was good at a sniper, I would upgrade my Piper and my Nani. Pretty crazy, I know. A very wise man once told me, once you start to get really good at your brawler pool, it's somehow going to transition into other brawlers as well. Don't ask me how, because I don't really know how it works, but that's honestly how I got better at the game. I just got better at what I was good at, and I pushed it as high as I can. And then after that, for whatever reason, I was just able to push other brawlers to those same trophy marks, even though I didn't think I was as good at them. Figure out what you're good at, get good at it, level it up, and I think your game is going to improve a lot. Fact number eight. Just because a legendary brawler is legendary does not mean it's broken. Listen, I was like you guys before. I used to think, oh, a brawler is legendary. It's rare. That must mean it's good. No, that's not what it means at all. Crow sucks. Listen, Lex. Crow sucks. It didn't suck forever, but it sucks now. You know what else sucks? Chester. Chester sucks. You don't want to take an entire month, maybe even more, to unlock a brawler just because it's gold and shiny. There are other brawlers that take a quarter of the time. You can unlock it in a week instead of a month, but those brawlers are actually better and far easier to push with than those legendary brawlers. Pushing in Brawl Stars is all about efficiency. It's all about getting more while spending less time on the game. The more you can gain with less time is the key to being good at pushing trophies and getting high up in cups. So no, do not spend one month to get one brawler and then only push that one brawler because it took you a month to get it just to get it to 300 trophies. Unlock three brawlers in that time frame and push three different brawlers up to the same trophies you would have gotten that one crow to, Lex, or that one Chester to. Because that is going to make you a way better pusher. It's going to make you a way better player. It's going to give you way more trophies. And it's also going to let you unlock the most brawlers possible. Now again, if you guys want to know what brawlers are good and what's not, please look at the tier list videos. They are super easy to look at. There is a ton of them and it is really obvious on them what is good and what is not good. So use these tools that you guys have because it can help out a ton. Fact number not nine fact number nine and i am going to stress this as much as possible because this is basically what i've been saying the entire video more trophies less time all these facts that i said are to help you get more trophies and less time and that is the goals that you guys should have if you guys are even taking three of these 10 facts you guys are going to get way better and way faster in gaining trophies and getting to be a better player and just everything in general if you guys take all 
10 of these tips, I promise you, you guys will notice a crazy, crazy difference. So this fact, it isn't even a Brawl Stars fact. It's more of just me saying, guys, listen. Because if you guys listen to these facts, if you take three, four, five, six, seven of them, you guys are going to notice so much improvement in your pushing, in your trophies, in your play. It is going to be unreal. And finally, fact number 10, this game is not pay to win. Look, it's not Clash of Clans. It's not Clash Royale. It's not even Boom Beach or Heyday, guys. It's Brawl Stars. I know it's really easy for me with all my shiny purple button hypercharges, all my star powers, gadgets, and gears to say this, but believe me, guys, you guys can do it. My brother has been completely free to play. He has all the brawlers in the game. Almost. He's missing like two. He has 30,000 trophies, which is pretty good, but it's not anything that you guys can't reach at all. And he doesn't even play that much. He only has like 6,000 combined wins in 3v3 and showdown. If you use the facts that I've told you guys, which I always tell my brother to help him push and to help him be as efficient as possible, you guys can easily reach your goals. You guys can easily have all the brawlers in the game. And you guys can easily have so, so, so many trophies on your account.